They don't tell Nigerian people, make them form one collabo waka to take fight with Uru. This one happened when we said the anti Uru activist, GD or Joe. If they launch one book when we say called Corruption and Obesity in Governance. Inside Abuja and tell Nigerian people, they say make them face the problem of Uru to boost economic and infrastructure develop. While representative of the Makato Foundation, when we say they sponsor the book production, Dayo Laide, he said we will go continue to bring Ogunge Palava for this country if Niger people no grief face the Palava. The foundation's commitment to supporting anti-corruption work in Nigeria puts Nigeria and Nigerians at the heart of that struggle. We are not under any illusion that as an international foundation and a private foundation that we can solve the problem. But believe, but by believing that if you will enable the institutions and you will enable Nigerians, then we have a hope that Nigeria could become a better place. It will require that we all as a people come to a collective resolve that for us to be able to overcome the problem of corruption, we must all stand up against it as a collective. The pro process of building Nigeria is a realistic one. And by growing the tribe, we can accelerate that process. For me, this uh, book presentation is an opportunity and an invitation offered by Jide Ojo to further expand that tribe, to recruit more committed activists, and to continue that struggle of building a Nigeria that we can love. The panacea to our perpetual underdevelopment can be found in our ability to tackle our corruption challenge. Like it or not, if we don't find a creative way, and my own belief is that it's going to be a multi-pronged approach to solving this challenge of corruption. There is the soft and then the hard approach. I'm involved in the soft approach, which is awareness creation, sensitization, dialogue, and all of that. No matter our revenue, increase in revenue generation, as the federal government is trying to do with the seven finance laws that have been passed, uh, that have been assented to by the president, if we don't fix the problem of corruption, it will be like mopping a leaking roof. And you know what it means. When a roof is leaking and you decide to use mop instead of what? Sealing the roof. So that is why the challenge is to all of you, all of us, to find a very ingenious and creative way to solve the challenge of lack of transparency and accountability in government, as well as issue of corruption.